Hey everybody, I'm JJ. You're watching Reality Survival and I uh, just wanted to give you a real quick um, tip or thought on um, how to get or make hot water uh, during an SHTF situation. Now, it's not going to work in all environments and all conditions and all that kind of thing, but uh, if you have black water containers, these are U.S. military um, GI cans. Hold on, let me let me talk to my dog here. She's she's a little excited about something. Firebugs. What are you so excited about, huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. You need to be good. Come on, be good, girls. Come on, Shay. Okay, so hey, settle down. Settle, settle down. <laughs> She's four years old. She still acts like a puppy. Okay, so back to the hot water. So I ordered these four. I think I'm going to order one more. Um, and, and the reason I say that I'm going to order one more is because it would be a perfect fit for carrying five on the back of the four-wheeler. They're five-gallon cans, so that'd be 25 gallons. And I got these off of Army, Navy supply.com i think is what it is i'll put a link down in the description below i'm not affiliated with them um i got these for they were roughly 35 dollars each after all was said and done um so i think that's what it was pretty sure anyhow um they're good durable cans these are used obviously uh, but they really take a beating i mean these cans are are really well built they're good for water and they're made of black plastic and so what you do is you take these things and you set them out in the sun during the day and the sun will heat them up and then you can use them for you know taking a shower taking a bath or whatever the case may be at night now it really works well when you have when you combine these with like a small uh, 12 volt dc pump and you can just pump right out of the can you know, and you can just siphon it right out of the can into the shower and it's already hot. And then you don't have to have a heater. Um, and so that's, it's just, just one way to think about saving energy and to use in the sun and all that kind of stuff. You, a lot of times you have the option of getting these in either tan or black. Um, and I would just suggest to you that at least some of them, if you get some, should be black. Or you could probably paint your... Uh, your tan one's black as well, you know? I mean, a lot of different things that you can do. Um, the other thing I like about these is they've got the handle on the top and I can take a uh, cargo strap and I can strap, through, you know, run the strap through all of them and strap them down nice and tight. And if I have to go down to the creek and get water because maybe I've run out of propane, you know, my, you know, Shay's taking a dump. That's funny. Um, you know, I've run out of propane or whatever the case may be, and my well doesn't work anymore, or I don't know, I can't get water out of my pond. If I have to go a long distance to get water, then I can just strap them on the back of the four-wheeler and do it that way. Um, you know, that's providing that I've got gas for the four-wheeler and all that kind of stuff. The other thing you can do with these, and it kind of sucks, I've done it, is you can put a... a you know, like a pole through here and carry a couple of them at a time over um, the back of, you know, like over your back. It's a little easier than carrying, carrying them with a pole than it is carrying them by the handles. But either way, whatever, do whatever suits you. Um, just, just trying to throw out a video to you guys to think about an easy way to make water. They also make those Coleman... Um, the Coleman showers that you can use um, that are black colored and they can set those out in the sun as well. This is the same exact principle. It's just something that's a little bit more sturdy. It's going to last a little bit longer. It definitely is more expensive, but um, I think that these are at 35 bucks. I think that's what it was. Um, to me, they were worth, they were worth the while. They are the scepter cans that are made in Canada. So anyhow, 
that's all. Just a quick thought on uh, being able to transport water and then make hot water from you from those containers. So don't forget to live six P's. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe, guys.